Your mercy has brought me thus far. I don't want anybody to thank God on your behalf. You yourself say something out to God. If you actually appreciate what God has done for you, if you know that it is a great privilege, give God the praise from your heart. Bible says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. The Lord, thank you for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for all that you have done in 2023. Thank you for what you have started doing in 2024. That's why I'm here now to give thanks. Give thanks to him. Appreciate God. For he has done great things. Give him worship. Give him adoration.
Father, we thank you this morning. We have reasons to keep on praising you all day because it is by privilege. It is not just a right. You have shown mercy to us. We return glory and praises in Jesus' name. Lord, as we worship in your presence today and as we look into your word, which is the last phase of this service, Lord, I pray you will minister to us. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say Happy New Year. If you have not seen you this year, I'm seeing you today. I say Happy New Year. It shall be your year of the supernatural. By next Sunday, you will see a decoration that will be there 2024 year of the supernatural and you see the rider supernatural elevation supernatural accomplishments supernatural intervention yesterday being the first saturday our program here from above i was talking about supernatural help everything about god is supernatural life becomes difficult if there is no power backup no man can make it through life without a push without a strength you will wonder why people go into occultism why people join occults it is because irrespective of fields they find themselves they know that natural life cannot pass through this life successfully and that's why they need something and if they don't have christ they will go and look for something that can back them up you see them among the politicians you see them people in the business world you will see them people in the entertainment world even people that are in the, that are playing football because there are powers that are contending with humanity hallelujah and for us as the church of christ our own source of power which is the power that passes all power is the almighty god i say is the almighty god from the scripture we read in the bible reading verse 1 says that chapter 15 of exodus said then sang moses and the children of israel this song unto the lord and spake saying i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea hallelujah now you see there is a reason for moses and the israelite to sing it wasn't easy to be free from the hands of Pharaoh. they have been desiring or desirous of leaving egypt for a very long time they have spent over 400 years that's why the fact that even the prophecy given to abraham was that his genealogy his generation you know we sojourn in a foreign land for 400 years but 400 years came to completion and he became 410 he became 420 he became 430 hallelujah i don't know what has been keeping you stagnant if a child of God we know that there are times of wilderness experience there are times that God wants you to be patient there are times that God tells you that I am at work just wait but there are people that their waiting time is over but unfortunately they are no longer sensitive in the spirit and that waiting time has now become you know a, a a a terrifying time it has become a torture in their lives because they are not sensitive in the spirit 
Thank God at a particular time, God raised Moses. He told Moses, I have seen the affliction of my people. And I'm now calling you to go and deliver them. And so Moses was commissioned to rescue Israel from the land of bondage. Pharaoh tried all he could. And I hope you know that when we talk about Pharaoh, we are not talking about an ordinary man. We are talking of a man that is loaded with demons. A man that is a principality himself. Some of the kings in those days, in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, in the days of people like, uh, uh, like Pharaoh, they were demigod. They were God in their own right. And people made prayers unto them. People pray to them because they were loaded with forces and powers of darkness. So Pharaoh was not an ordinary person. Pharaoh was a power on his own. And all the magicians in Egypt, they were there to prevent Israel from going free. So there was a power holding them hostage, holding them bound. And at a particular time, God has to show forth. I have a good news for you. This year, the Lord will show forth on your matter. Oh, your amen. Let me say you are waking up. I said this year, God will show forth. Your waiting time shall be over. In the name of Jesus. And with all those contests going on in Egypt, Moses will do one miracle. And the uh, counterfeit the Egyptians, you know, also we do their own. Until one happened, they could not do any fake. And they said, Pharaoh, this one is the finger of God. The finger of God will intervene in the matters of your life in the name of Jesus. You know the length of the story? God said, this day, I'm going to do something. And therefore, Moses, tell Israel to take an, a lamb that is no more than a, a year old. Let them kill the lamb. Let them apply the blood on the lintels of their homes. And let them make sure that they burn, you know, I mean, they roast it. They must not break the bone. For those of you who like to crack bone, bone. <laughs> God said, don't break the bone. And of course, you must eat it with unliving bread. And of course, these two things is the emblem of the Holy Communion today. For those of you who came late first Sunday like this 8 a.m. is a communion service we have had communion this morning which like the first service How hallelujah now you can see God said they must eat it with unliving bread I said it is a Passover I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and anybody that does not have the blood at the lintel of his house. That person, anybody that that blood is not applied to the house. The angel of death will visit that person. And it was so. There was cry and weeping in the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said, go, now you can go. <laughs> you see, something is going to happen this year. That those who are holding you bound, they will see the mighty acts of God. They will release you by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so Israel was released. Amen. And of course, God said, Don't worry, you will not go scoff, you will not go empty handed. And uh, in the Sodos chapter. Uh, chapter 12 verse 36 the bible says and the lord gave the people favor in the sight of the egyptians so that they lent unto them 
such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. Hallelujah. Are you with me? I'm speaking on experiencing the supernatural. Experiencing what? The supernatural. You can see their firstborn have died. The Bible said there was no house in Egypt without weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hallelujah. And yet, when the day broke, they began to go to the Egyptian house. We are going tomorrow. What do you have for us? And they went to begin to give them all their treasures. They are gold. We give it to you. The Bible says that, <laughs> you know, that they, that, that, so that they lent unto them. Yeah, if you lend somebody some, something, you want to collect it back. You know, it is foolishness that makes you to lend somebody who is traveling. That is not coming back. <laughs> Praise God. But that is what favor does. Favor will answer for you this year. Where you least expect, favor will answer for you. The Bible says they began to give all their treasures, their gold, their money, their treasure, their clothes, things that were expensive in their wardrobes. And the Bible said by that singular reason they spoiled. It takes a person to fight war before you can carry spoil. If you conquer a battle, then you take everything that you want to take from the people you have conquered. But can you see that these people without shooting an arrow, without doing anything, God has gone supernaturally and he granted them favor unusual favor and they began to give them all the things and the Bible said by that singular reason they spoiled the Egyptians you may not know why Pharaoh had to pursue again when he heard that the treasures of Egypt is gone He wanted to get all these things back. Not because he may not necessarily, you know, he may not necessarily, you know, want uh, or wanted the Israelites to come back. You understand? Now? They, he knew that they were trouble to him. But that all the treasures that have been carted away to be able to get all the treasures back. But he didn't know it was the heart of God. It was God. When God determined a thing, nobody can overturn it. And that is the story we have read. They crossed the Red Sea. And Israel, you know, crossed on the dry land. And Pharaoh and his soldiers wanted to attempt the same thing. But they were choked inside the sea. And that's why Moses was singing that song. I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The ox and his riders he has thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. He said, I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his riders he has thrown into the sea. He said, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. And he is become my salvation. He is my God. <laughs> Your God will show forth this year. Let me tell you. This year. Is going to be tough. The government has no solution to the economy presently. We are praying for God's intervention. But you see. They are confused. We can ask ourselves, how do we find ourselves in this state as a nation? 
that Cephas in Benin Republic is now stronger than Naira. All the south way, all the, all the western part of the country, their currency is, is stronger than the giant of Africa. And the new people that got there again now, they are still hitting hard on the economy. They have gone to take a loan now. They took a loan from World Bank or whatever, maybe the lender that you know, they took a loan. Maybe the, I think the loan is about uh, is about three to four, you know, billion dollars, and they now said that we will pay back. But if you don't pay back, we will pay you with oil. And by the time they calculated what they are going to pay back with oil, it amounts to over twelve billion dollars. Now, what kind of economy is that? Econ economics is that. You are taking a loan of three point something billion dollars. You want to pay back with 12 point something billions. Now, you can see that that is the nation we find ourselves. God will intervene in our nation. Amen. Hallelujah. But don't tell me how. It's going to be supernatural intervention. Amen. I say it shall be supernatural intervention. Amen. It doesn't matter all the plans all the strategies from the executive to the national assembly to the state governors to everywhere whatsoever may be the state of the nation and all the power they have amassed to themselves our god will act on our behalf god will arise it will shock people in this country because the prayers of the saints will not be in vain there will be divine intervention there will be supernatural intervention there will be a shaking God will shake this nation your amen is suspicious I said God will shake this nation that's the only thing we can do to pray and God answers prayer the way he's going to do it don't ask me the Bible says he has thousands of ways God can do all things and he will do it supernaturally he will he will do something about our nation but i'm talking about you you will experience the supernatural when men are saying they are cast down you will say there is what a lifting up because by supernatural intervention of the almighty we give thanks to god who has brought us to the new year by his mercy Israel is a picture of the church today. Anytime you are reading about Israel, just understand you are talking about the church. Israel is the shadow of what church is in the Old Testament. The way God took Israel from the land of bondage to the land flowing with milk and honey is the same thing when somebody gives his life to christ you are also deliver the bible says he has delivered us from the powers of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son now israel when they were going the bible says god was going with them god was leading them the bible says that they were going from one nation to the other he suffered no man to do them evil that is psalm 105 psalm 105 the bible says when they went from one nation to another verse 13 to another from one kingdom to another people he suffered that is he disallowed he did not allow any man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings god reproved kings you may not understand when israel was going they were not yet a nation they have no organized soldiers are you following me now they don't have organized army they don't have settlement they were just moving they were on the move they were on transit and they were crossing from one country to the other and all these countries they will bring their mass uh, uh, their, their, i mean their soldiers they will bring their artilleries 
to fight against Israel. There was a time that five kingdoms, five kings, five nations gathered together to fight these people who were on transit. <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. But the Bible tells us the secret. He said he suffered no man to do them any evil. He rebuked, reproved kings for their sake. And what did God say? God said, touch not my anointed. Whosoever touches you this year is in trouble. You are the anointed of God. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Wow. So you are a prophet. Some of you that are looking for prophet all around. God say you are a prophet. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Hey, yeah, God raised a prophet for you in the church. But at the same time, by grace, there is a prophetic grace upon every child of God. And that's why the Bible says you will decree a thing. It shall be established. And the light will shine along your path. Now, these days, you must be very careful what you say with your mouth. Because the Bible says, by the word of your mouth, you will be condemned. By the word of your mouth, you will be justified. Whatsoever you are going to say from your mouth this year, recognize the fact that if you are born again, you are a prophet of God. Hallelujah. You must not speak anything negative. Don't speak anything sentimental. Hallelujah. Don't be sentimental about any matter. Hallelujah. When you are speaking to your wife, speak positively. When you are speaking to your husband, speak positively. When you are speaking to your children, speak positively. Don't say that uh, uh, it is the spirit of my household that has come upon me. Uh, praise God. Because if you rebel. And that's why one of the prayers you must pray today that go bon to motivate no miso. Any wrong thing that I've spoken last year, I cancel with the blood of Jesus. God does not joke. Word is a spirit. Every word you speak creates an environment around your life. Any word you utter, there is a spiritual environment that is created around you. If you say that you cannot do it, then it will not be done. If you say you are afraid, then you'll be afraid. If you say that ah, you are cast down, um, you are tired, you know, then you'll be tired. That's what the Bible says. I can do all things through Christ who does what? Who strengthens me? You will be strengthened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your world will create an environment around you. This Israel, enemy could not conquer them, but they conquer themselves. Are you with me? Are you following me? The Bible says, He suffered no man to do them any evil. He rebuked nations for their sake. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But unfortunately, do you know that they did themselves harm? <laughs> Hallelujah. When it remains a little for them to get to the land of promise. Now, Moses sent some people to go and spy the land. He sent them, go and spy this land. This land that God has given to us. Can you imagine? They travel just a few days and they enter into the land of Canaan. That's supposed to be the land of their inheritance. But when they go there, they saw the way the land, you know, was. They saw that there were giants, there were people, different kinds of people, organized army. They saw so many things. But at the same time, they saw the positive side. That all that God said, that the land is flowing with milk and honey. That is, is a land that is rich. It's a land that is blessed. I am giving you this land. And, and of God, God said all those things. And now, they saw it. But the Bible says, they brought negative news about the land. They brought negative news. Twelve people were sent. Ten came with negative news. Said the land we have gone to spy. It is true. The land is filled with big and honey. Big and honey. 
this is the fruit of the land they brought the fruit of the land they have never seen that kind of fruit in egypt hallelujah say yes it is a land that is flourishing oh it will have been good if you just stop there hallelujah can i give you a cancer this year when somebody is speaking around you after you are speaking what is good and you say but keep his mouth shut that but here you are not going to say it in jesus name because anything when you hear see, say something good and you say but you know the next thing that will follow but we contradict the first one am i right yes, is somebody listening to me yes, if it is your wife say i am my darling hey. in fact the way things are this and that this and that you know but say, keep your mouth shut you will not <laughs> you will not say it in this house Hey, we're supposed to do so, so and so and so. It is nice you can do that. that, 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 that. But mm, you are not going to say it here. Don't say I don't have money. If you say it, you won't have money. Whatever you say with your mouth, you are a prophet to yourself. You are a prophet in your own right. God said, They are my prophets. Don't say I don't have money. Hey, well that job you know this and that but people are many that are con come, you know that are competing it is not likely but that man do not like don't say but believe that you have god if god be for us who can be against us hallelujah whatsoever we ask in the name of the lord he shall give it to us now this people now said well it's a good land this and that we have seen it this is from, but we cannot go ah moses should have kept their mouth shut hallelujah amen you see that it's good to learn during the time of joshua leadership he did not make that mistake when he told them to go to jordan this and that now when they are bringing this something he brought them to the room what did you want to say he did not bring them to the congregation of israel so that if they are saying anything oh come you must not say it outside no. hallelujah praise god they said but we cannot go we saw the sons of anak anak in there the giants that are born of giants and when we look at them and we look at ourselves we are just like grasshopper we are just like grasshopper look at it oh. we are grasshopper to them and so are we in their eyes can you see evaluation two sides of evaluation say to ourselves we are grasshopper it would have been good if we are the only one that see ourselves as grasshopper but as they are as we look at them in relation to us we listen very well these people that they say that they are grasshopper eh these people did not see them all. hello you know they went to spy they didn't see them they are the one that saw the giants if they are seen the giants maybe they were not they wouldn't have come back alive they spied the land they did you know the reiki they supposed you know to, to carry out now they were now the one judging what they saw with their mouth relating he said we are grasshopper even you know grasshopper now how can human being like be like grasshopper praise god but that is self-evaluation and now said that as we evaluate ourselves the people that did not talk oh, but we know that in their eyes also we are what grasshopper and so we cannot go caleb and joshua steal the people the other two i said keep quiet we are able to go our god has given us the land these people you are talking about they are bread to us they are ordinary bread let's go at once but do you know israel and these 10 evil reporters they took stone they wanted to stone those who are speaking positive and throughout the night the bible said they were crying it is better for us to have died in egypt oh this year be careful of what you say with your mouth god is not 
a sentimental God. It is better. Now you have brought us to the wilderness to kill us. This is after God has made them to cross the Red Sea. This is after God has made them, you know, to bring brought water from them from the rock. This is after God has fed them with the food of angels and God gave them manna in the wilderness. This is after God, you know, even listening to them, you know, even things that they were tempting God, but yeah, God answered them. They said they want to eat meat and God still gave them meat. This is God that throughout that period of the wilderness, there was no medicine store, there was no hospital, and God kept them. Hallelujah. Now, all the goodness, of, what is wrong with man? Suddenly, you will forget all the goodness of the Lord over your life just because of a temptation, just because of a trial, just got a period of hardship. You begin to utter negative things that will rubbish the great things God have done in your life. If God has not been with you, you will not be here today. If God has not fought your battles, you will not be alive today. If God has not given you victories in the journey of life, you will not be here today. He has done great things for you. He has been there for you. He has blessed you. Hallelujah. When others are looking for children, he gave you children. When others are having still bad, God, God did not allow it to happen in your life. When others, you know, were going from dustbin to dustbin before they ate, God did disallow it over you, you know, for your life. God defended you. Even when you don't even know that enemies were against you, he still fought your battle. But why are you changing your mind? Why are you doubting God? They forgot all that God has done. And God said, that's all right. Oh, may God not change his mind concerning your life the good things God has promised in your life, it shall be delivered. But don't destroy with your mouth. And God said, that's alright. Moses, that's alright. According to what they have said, so I will do it for them. They said they cannot go, then they will not go. They said they will not enter, so be it. They said it, so be it. Now, they were pitting their children they said they are children. Ah, even our own cases, but even our children. God said, Those children, I will preserve them. It is those children 20 years downward that will enter into that land. As for Caleb and for Joshua, they have spoken positively. They will get that they will get to that land. Do you know that all those generations died in the wilderness? Only Caleb and Joshua, they were the adults that led this younger generation to the promised land when deliverance of nigeria will come may you and your children be one of such people that will lead this nation in your profession in your career when others have have, have used their mouth to destroy themselves may you be part of few people that will be standing i don't know what your profession is maybe it's, it's maybe you're a businessman Maybe you're a career person. Maybe you, 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 I mean, you are, you are, you are a fashion designer. Maybe you are a brick, in brick lane. Maybe you are, you are, you are, in whatever the job you are doing, may you be part of the people that will stand strong, that will become a reference point in your generation, in your own time, in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout a lot, amen. That was what happened. Let me just mention one thing or two things then we'll continue next week. Experiencing the supernatural. Do you want to experience supernatural this year? Supernatural accomplishments. Supernatural interventions. Supernatural help. I have defined it. I'll keep on defining it. That supernatural is something that is beyond man's ability. If it is supernatural, it is beyond the natural. You may know how to read books. You may be a student. You need supernatural backup that make you to succeed where others are failing. You may be in business. You need supernatural intervention that will make your business to continue to grow when others are collapsing. You need a backup. You can't walk in this world without a spiritual backup. 
Shout hallelujah. Beware, I have told you. Those of you that are moving towards retirement, you will not be retired. Uh, you can say amen. Then say, ah, it's remained three years, I will retire. Four years, I retire. You are not there yet, too. If you are in America, 60, 65, 70, they are still working. Hallelujah. Do you know the, do you know the age of uh, President Biden? President Biden is well over 72, uh, 78 or thereabout. Abi? Now, he's there, he's still the President of America. Do you know the age of Trump that wants to come back? Trump is around, you know, going to 80 also. Trump said, I'm coming back to become the president of America. Some of the people that are captain industries, you know, there are people that have been there for a very long time. Hallelujah. You will not retire in hero. I said in the name of Jesus, when a system is closing down, God will open up another system. I've said it, I'm saying it, I'm a prophet of God, I'm speaking the mind of God. There are some of you, your job will change this year. People, there is what's called head hunting, is that not so? Head hunting, they will look for you, they will discover that you are the one that fits. When they are looking for people that of integrity and say, if you are looking for integrity, look, look at this man. That was what hand Joseph the privilege of becoming a prime minister. And some people, they will look at their life and say, this is their skill. This is their, they, they, are, they are truthful. They are, they are, they are mean. They are people that are loyal. Your loyalty will hang you. Greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. When you are working under anybody, please be lawyer. What do I say? Eh, it does not matter. Eh, this and that. What are they even paying me? Paying me? Eh? They are paying me twenty thousand, and they are still doing younger. Eh? What are they paying me? And you are working. You are not working as unto the Lord. You are reacting. You are disrespecting, and you are doing some things as if the business want to scatter. Let it scatter. You are scattering your future. If you cannot build with a person, nobody can build with you in the future. If you cannot be there and loyal to a person, the Bible says, if you are not faithful to the unrighteous mammon, who will give you your own good, the true treasure? So this year you must watch it. You must make sure you cooperate with God. Walk in the light of God's word now what are the way to connect to the supernatural like i said i can mention one or two points and we we'll pray the first thing this year you must know the lord jesus you must do what talk to me know what know the lord jesus now knowing jesus is number one start with being born again wake up wake up well, yeah, touch somebody by your side i say wake up 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 here 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 wake up hallelujah the first thing is you must be born again you must give your life to christ hallelujah you know people are dying cheaply today i'm telling you that if god is not behind you things that can kill you there are very many outside the bible said the heart of men shall fail them for fear there are things that will happen your business ah what am i going to do eh. Praise God. How many times you say, mm, that, mm, yeah, eh? Praise God. It's enough to mm. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. A friend of mine, you know, um, is, is uh, his son in law and his daughter, they came to visit and was not the daughter the son in law the one i said look go and visit i'm trying to put some do some reconciliation between the man i mean the, i mean and the and his children then they went they said ah, the man was the the young man was thanking me you know praise the lord when i was talking to him i said what's wrong with you i said you are not feeling well your son-in-law is a medical doctor 
but you are fighting your son-in-law you have issue with him praise god and you are now using nurse adubo nurse around to treat you praise god can you see the way people just kill themselves your wife was contacting your son-in-law said no 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 don't tell him don't let him because he be because you are not there and you are using those nurse and by the time when eventually i tried to reconcile and i spoke to him and i said you go and visit and they have to sleep in the house when they after they've settled and the and the doctor have to test his father-in-law and by the time he said with few things he could say when they was here they were if they were buying uh drugs for um arthritis thinking that it's arthritis not doing that it is the aftermath of diabetics which means that dead leg is going gradually he said he was not telling me yesterday he said because the blood flow to the leg is shortened that's why he has in the pain and that's why if he is not taking the leg will be up, 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 up. i was telling me also he said when they check his blood i mean his bp his bp is 100 maybe 110 over 160 and that night some of the things he has pain in the chest and this and that when he was saying that i could not breathe he said when it was in the night that thing happened when they were in the house they have to be looking for the way out and by the time they got to the hospital they carry out ecg they discover ecg shows that he has had multiple heart attack what he thought the pain in my chest is heart attack degree of heart attack that will just just pack up at any time he was not telling me say he said the heart attack that he had is enough for him to have died praise the lord i will still talk to him but i spoke to him before his he, um, his son-in-law and uh, and daughter i said well you are angry you are not even afraid to die and go to hell when you are not forgiving you go to hell if he has died in that condition say he thought he's born again you will go to hell are you here look at me and you are hungry with somebody do you want to go to hell you will go to hell cheaply they will say hey there are two houses that is that you go to hell or go to hell he lay down the i will not greet him and my father my mother-in-law what my mother-in-law did to me what my father-in-law did to me and this and that now that everybody just go in the sleep i'm not going to this and that. Ah. unforgiveness is worse than adultery because the bible says if you cannot forgive the man that of that a man like you say your father in heaven will not forgive you what your trespasses i was quoting look i mean uh, is it not matthew 18 22 that servant and the master the master servant was owing the master you know, remember that story now and he said ah, look you have to pay this maybe hundreds of thousands you know if you don't pay today i'm going to send you to jail you have to pay and the man was beginning to be you no know, beg say please sir and the bible said he had compassion on him i said okay don't worry don't even pay again i forgive you all the debts but the second morning what happened he saw his fellow servants that was holding him he owe him his soft more money i said where is my money and that one said please i will pay i will pay he said what are you saying he took him to prison please put him in prison and if other servant went to go and tell their boss and said, this is what is happening and the man called him and said you wicked servant i forgive you all those debts this chicken money that your fellow something is owing you you cannot forgive. he said go and put him in prison hand him over to tormentor hallelujah may you hand but never and you know hand in the hands of tormentor you don't understand there are people that are under torment today because of lack of forgiveness you are keeping malice Lori Kinney, because of what you are fighting so because of what and hey, my mother-in-law and hey, my daddy and hey, my mommy and hey, this and that my this and that and my brother and hey, my sister that's why you want to go to hell you must leave this place if there is any intervention you need is the intervention of total submission conversion transformation may you have it 
may you experience it in the name of jesus you are born again not only being born again now you have relationship with jesus you must know jesus this year how can you know jesus when you don't come to church regularly how can you know jesus when you don't read your bible how can you know more of jesus when you don't listen to sermon listen to the word of god faith coming by hearing hearing by what the word of god see i hear Hebrew chapter chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 say God who at sundry times and diverse manner spake in, in time past unto the fathers by the prophet at in this last day spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the world now Jesus is the one God is speaking at the end time through his son so when you come to the church we are telling you what Jesus is saying you must know jesus you must love jesus you must serve jesus praise god then the second thing i want you to to connect to supernatural this year recognize listen to this and connect to the servant of god that god has sent to you you see some people are missing the time of their visitation because of lack of recognition and lack of connection to pastor that god has sent to them somebody hear me praise god I say praise the Lord. Let me tell you this. If a member of this church, if I speak to your life, if I cancel you, you don't listen. You go to another church, pastor of another church, to go and listen to cancel. You cannot prosper that way. God who planted you in a place is not making a mistake. The people in the old world cannot be a member of one single church. Is that not so? Is it possible? Hmm. He has positioned you somewhere. But many people, they are in the church, but they are not connecting with the church. Don't let the hair of last year repeat itself. You are looking for prophet all around. How many did you get in the last two years that you have been looking to the house of prophets? All the prayer houses you went to and all the fasting they asked you to fast. What has it produced? It can't produce anything because God has positioned someone to speak to your life. God has sent somebody to lead you. And so if you are looking for solution from other man, you are not part of that sheephold. If the man pray for others, it won't work for you. Because that is all where he has planted you. Is somebody getting it? Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what God is telling me. I'm telling you the revelation of the scriptures you can there is nothing like freelance in the house of god you can't be a freelance christian i am in new covenant church today tomorrow i go to living faith another time i worship with deeper life another time i love the sermon of uh, so so and so and so person god uh, that person you can never be balanced christian there will not be consistency in your manifestation in your growth in your experiences because the instruction you hear okay I'm, I'm i'm concluding a sermon today to conclude to continue next sunday praise god if you did not hear that of last next sunday how do you connect if you go to somewhere else and it's another thing they are talking about your christian growth cannot be the same and therefore the supernatural will elude your life hallelujah it is not enough to receive miracle it is more important to, re to hold the miracle. Abi, some people don't sustain the visitation of God in their lives. Why? Because it, come, it came by emergency. But if it is a place where you eat, the servant of God, God has placed upon your life, there will be consistency. In the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7, he says, surely the Lord God will do nothing. Is somebody in the house? 
the Lord God will do what? Nothing. The Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servant, the what? The prophets. Amen. I don't know when you woke up this morning. I know when I have woken up today. Shout hallelujah. I have woken up since after two praying for you. Committing God, I mean committing you to the hands of God. Hallelujah. Maybe you woke up six o'clock. Now, after God has given me a word for you, and I pray for you, and God has brought you, and I deliver what God has said. But if you are not there to receive it, the Bible said God reveal. You know, some people give testimony here, if I'm right. Praise God. You will say, yes, hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Some people say, well, when I come to church, you know, when a uh, reverend is just preaching, it's so many times what I was thinking in my mind, or what has just happened to me, is talking about it. Is anybody in the house with that? And just say, ah, it's just like somebody has gone to report me to reverend. The Bible says, God will not do anything without revealing it to his servant, the prophets. So you must know your prophets. You must know the man that God has sent to your life. That is when your experiences in the supernatural will be a continuous and legit one. Is that getting bad? Because God will reveal things. And it is when you hear that there will be a revelation. There will be a direction. Okay? And there is a prayer that the prophet has prayed for you. Forget of all this prophet that say, uh, hey, hey, there is a prophet on one mountain. Hallelujah. Me, I don't need to go and create a mountain. Hallelujah. Praise God. I say, praise the Lord. Some people say, ah, Molo Murioki Meji Okare. There are Christians, they know all the mountain. You do a genari, you do Faboro, okay, you're not rich colleague, okay, you're not rich, okay, Kiniko Kinikan, okay, with seven rest step, okay, Kiniko Kiniko Kinikan. The question there is that with all those climbing, climbing, what has he delivered to you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Even if you have a miracle, if you don't have the word to sustain it, you will still lose it. Say, somebody say, I hear. I hear. Do you really hear? Yes, Look at Second Chronicles 27. I will just stop on that point number two. He said, and they rose early in the morning. Second Chronicles 20, 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and say hear O Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established believe his prophets so shall you do what? shall prosper everyone say prosper say prosper if I pray for you if you don't believe me you cannot prosper if I preach to you you don't believe what God has sent to me to, I mean to send me to give to you you can prosper if the day you look at your pastor or all these men of God and they are speaking to you they are counseling you and you turn their word and say who is speaking if you begin to disrespect to disrespect such in your heart one cannot prosper hello does that make sense that is the word of God one thing about this church is that mm, We'll continue to speak the word <laughs> hallelujah to tell you the truth of the word of god i'm going to stop there we are talking about the way of connecting to this supernatural you want to connect this year you want god to visit in all the areas of your life connect properly you must connect to jesus the head of the church you must have christ in your life you must love jesus with passion you must follow his word you must be a disciple you must stand out you are in the church today i don't need to call you or people follow you up before you come next sunday we know this is a combined service whether you are in Akin village church you must make sure you are there praise god i love the testimony of one of our brother there this morning 
he said that he was in need of job baby the abba quarter house fellowship i mean about fellowship he said the servant of god that is there now our brother here thank god is now a minister now before he became a, i mean his brother tosi brother tosi the, the, the man interpreting praise god he is the servant of god is referring to he said he agreed with him he prayed for him and he got job abby is somebody hearing me he recognized that this man in the house fellowship that is leading is my leader abby is a servant of god now he brought it to him in the house fellowship and he prayed with him and god honor his servant and the god the job is in the church this morning to give praise to god hallelujah i don't like you hallelujah i say hallelujah that is it supposing if he doesn't see and say this one boy what can this one do after all i may be older than him this is just an house fellowship it's not church and uh, this and that say so, i will not say him until when i come to the church and i want to go and receive the real pastor hallelujah praise god he will not get that job but he believe in him believe the lord your god you'll be established believe his prophets you will prosper anybody that god has placed over you you know in the christian faith your head of department this and that don't disrespect leadership this year recognize and connect to the man god has sent to you i pray that your journey this year will be supernatural he will visit you in a mighty way in the name of jesus shall we rise up as we pray together i'll continue next week i want you to look at god this morning i want you to pray are you ready to pray with me How, are you ready to pray please pray this prayer and say my father shout it louder every word that i've spoken against my life against my family that is affecting me today oh lord I take over that word i cancel that word pray in the name of jesus christ every negative word that i've spoken out of annoyance out of anger you said it to your husband you said it to your wife you said it to your children and you now begin to see the world creating a negative environment and that job you are not getting it that promotion is not coming up say god today every negative word enemy could not destroy israel but israel destroyed themselves with the words of their mouth say in the name of jesus lord i am sorry forgive you lord every negative word every careless word i withdraw it in the name of jesus and i cancel it by the blood of jesus i cancel it in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray say my father i surrender my life to you afresh this month and this year i will serve you jesus i will love you more we are praying in the name of jesus christ and tell the lord god forgive me any sin in my life this day i repent i want to start afresh with you oh lord I want to start afresh with you i will love you i will follow you i repent of every wrong things that i have done from today oh lord grant me a new beginning grant me a new beginning in jesus mighty name we have prayed say my father my father anyway i have disrespected your servant and the word you are sending to me anyway that have discon disconnect I mean, uh, disconnected to the word of your servant from today oh lord father i repent i believe your servant let me prosper we are praying in the name of jesus christ every word that i've heard in this church the one that i'm hearing this morning lord i believe your word i hold on to your word oh lord cause me to prosper thanks for cause me to prosper 
end store cause me to prosper thank you father in jesus name we pray the last prayer is this you are going to speak say father i can't hear you father 19 i'm 20,024. is my year of supernatural i ask oh god for supernatural accomplishment everything i will lay my hand this year cause me to 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 to, to succeed supernaturally come and pray in the name of jesus christ i have a supernatural intervention i have a supernatural help are you praying in my business in my projects lord i believe you it shall come to pass it shall be done are you really praying pray for your wife pray for your children pray for your husband pray for your household grandmas pray for your grandchildren my children shall succeed in jesus name we pray top with this prayer i told you the story of the the, the brother the, the the man of god also that uh, you know that they the son-in-law they said let's contact your son he's a medical no 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 when i was talking to him look at you everybody is praying to eat the food of children praise god what's wrong with you and the, the son was talk, the son in law was talking to me yes he said sir thank you for the way you have cancelled us we also we have been blessed that he prayed for us and we are happy he said he said thank you for your intervention he said it remains little he said every injection that the nurse is giving to him is in is an injection that will kill him that it was a negative thing that is contrary to what is wrong with him hallelujah Hello, all of you. They say there is a nurse on my our streets. Nurse, come what? Ladu go what? Oje ma kwara e. I say he's a nurse. Who told you he's a nurse? Somebody's an auxiliary nurse working the hospital because want to go much in go abere. Oh no, what be me a little wo? I can't jack party. Let Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Money. Look at you. You have a son in law who is a medical doctor. Who want to take care of you? He said, No, uh, can you call, can you Ah, is the son in law that was now desperate vice in Ogu State working, came to Ibadan, connecting all the, you know, the, the colleagues. Praise God. And now all the tests he has to run and things that has to run and uh, everything, every medical you know, attention and things like that. Now that is now being stabilized. Oh, Jen Womo. <laughs> Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Praise God. Ah, I do that? Hallelujah. no at least Ah, Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And say, Olorun, eje ki nje won omo. Wa ha pa bayi, gbogbo lore, to lati se mi lore lodun yin. Oluwa ma je kon ke yin si mi. Awon ti o sanu fun mi, Oluwa nran won si mi. Atomo mi ni o, atomo lomo ni o, ati ni agbegbe ni o. Where my help is this year, let my help supernaturally locate me. Is that how much you can pray for yourself? Let my help locate me. Let my helpers come. That I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Pray for yourself. Supernatural intervention. Oti bere ni yao. Iya no toko jao ye ni yao. Olu ajoko bere luri a ye mi. Ko shele nwa ye a wamo. Ka wamo mi koma she di otami. I want to learn who become a dear Tammy. 
Suddenly, I want to know and no one in Bishop Wako Kori Rai, Wako Tileku. But Lord, we want to know if you want to tell me. I do, I owe Jack on the Nani Nu. I do, I did better than the Lord, help me. And God will send help to you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Stretch out your hand to the altar. No, what's sick, back me? The altar is raised to bless lives. I pray for you today because you have faith in my God, in your God, and you have faith in me as a servant of God because you take me as your prophet. You take me as somebody who speaks to your life. Every word of prayer you have uttered today, I release the anointing of the supernatural to make them happen quickly receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus supernatural is beyond your own ability i pray that from this moment forward the supernatural help of god the supernatural intervention of god supernatural elevation supernatural you know uh, you know accomplishments every round of the supernatural that you are in need to move your life forward to make you to cross the red sea to make you to move out of the wilderness to make you to conquer all the giants along your way let there be divine intervention let there be the supernatural in the name of jesus Everything you lay your hand upon this year, you will prosper. Amen. The supernatural help of God will cause you to prosper. Amen. Your helper will not become your enemy. Amen. And what you are in law will need your time. Those who will help you, they will look for you. Amen. And what you are in law will work. Or a total say, I will need be fellow me. By the mercy of God, you will be single heart. You will be marvelously helped. You will be graciously helped. You will be supernaturally helped. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Psalm 133 says, How good and how pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. Say, It's like the oil upon Aaron that flow from his head down to the skates and of course that that is where god command pleasure what he's saying is that the head the leader the headship because you believe that god has sent me to you the oil of god upon my life i pray it flows upon you as it comes from above it touches you touches your marriage touches your home in the name of jesus christ Lord, do you go ni nira fun? Lord, do you ono ni dimo? Lord, do you own ni lakaka? Lord, do you da wale da wale da yo yo risiri? Oni Lord, do you own ni bati she? Mo badura own ni expire. Lord, do you just own ni expire? Ilera are ko ni expire. Your head will not expire. When it seems a door is closing, God will open another one. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Can you say amen three times? Amen. 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 Hallelujah.